everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Riptide by Vance Joy on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something you want to learn. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you never miss out on another new tutorial. And also follow me on Instagram for your chance to win a free lesson with me. So this song is going to be super great if you're a beginner. To play it in the original key, make sure your guitar is in standard tuning and then put your capo on the first fret. If you don't have a capo, it's totally okay to play through this without one, it'll just be a half step lower. On top of that, you only need to know four chords to play through this whole song and none of them are bar chords, so it's really, really great for beginners, as well as two different strumming patterns that you can use. Um, I also will be showing you how to play that little um, solo tab thing in the middle at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into an overview of what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. Alright, so like I said, you only need to know four chords to play through this song. Those are A minor, G, C, and F major 7. So if you're familiar with these chords, then that's perfectly great and we can move on. However, if you do want me to review them for you, make sure to skip to this time here where I will go over the chords and how to play them and things like that. Um, after that, we're going to jump into strumming, and like I said, I had two strumming patterns for you. The first one is just going to be a simple down strum on the beat for every chord change, and this is going to be really great if you're a beginner to just kind of get used to the song, and I do actually use it in the cover as well. And so um, if you want to go over an example of what this sounds like with the song, make sure to skip to this time here. However, if you are a little more advanced and feel like you don't need to do that, then we can move on to strumming pattern two. So for strumming pattern two, as you can see, it's down, down, up, down, up, and it's going to sound a little something something like this. Now this strumming pattern is great because you can actually use it to play through the entire song. So if you want to break it down and slow it down and go over it a little bit, then make sure to go to this time here so that we can break down strumming pattern two and play through an example together. However, if you feel like you already got the rhythm and everything just by watching me, then we can skip forward to the solo tab. So the solo tab is kind of short and it's only going to be played once throughout the song and it's going to sound like this. So if you want me to break down that tab for you and explain how to play it and everything, make sure to skip to this time here where I will go over the solo tab. However, if you feel like you already got it just through this overview, then make sure to go to the playthrough here at the end where I will go through the entire song and I'll have all the chords and lyrics and everything on screen in front of you so we can play through the song together. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the more in-depth part of this tutorial and we'll start with the chords. Closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. All right, so let's take a closer look at these chords. Like I said, there are only four, and the first one is A minor, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that, we have our G chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next, we have our C chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is our F major 7, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And those are the only four chords you need to know to play this song. All right, so after you have those chords memorized, make sure to give yourself a few minutes to make sure that you can transition between them pretty quickly. This song does have kind of a fast tempo, so we do need to be able to transition between those chords pretty fast. You can check out my TMT right here about how to transition between chords faster if that's something that you're struggling with. But once you have that down, we can go ahead and move into the strumming patterns that you can use with this song. So if you're familiar with any of my other tutorials, I always start with the first strumming pattern, which is just one simple down strum on the beat for every chord. Again, this is really good if you're a beginner and you're just getting used to playing guitar while singing at the same time and things like that. And this is actually also going to be used within the cover. So um, let me go ahead and go over an example of what this would sound like. Let's put our A minor chord on since that's the first chord in the song. And all you want to do is strum it down once. Then you go to your next chord, which is G, strum that down once. And then C, strum down once. 
all right? And so you would basically go through the whole song with just the one down strum on every chord change, and then make sure you're paying attention to what word is being sung and things like that to help yourself get more familiar with where those transitions are gonna take place. So let me go ahead and take you through the first verse and just do an example so you know how to do this for the rest of the song. We've got our A minor chord on. I was scared of dentists in the dark. Three, four. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning green. Two, three, four. You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. Two, three, four. So basically you want to do that exact same thing and just take it through the entire song until you know that you're familiar with where those chord transitions are going to be. And then once you've done that, we can move on to our second strumming pattern. So our second strumming pattern is not too much harder than our first one. As you can see, it's just down, down, up, down, up. And we're going to play this either once or twice for every chord, depending on what part of the song you're in. So first, let's go ahead and just go over the motions. I'm going to put my A minor chord on since that's the first chord in the song. And we're just going to strum down, down, up, down, up. All right, those are the motions. Why don't you try it with me with your A minor chord on? Down, down, up, down, up. Awesome. So once you have the motions down and that's kind of a comfortable um, feeling for you, now we want to work on that rhythm. So let me go ahead and play it for you in rhythm so you can hear what the strumming pattern sounds like. Awesome. So why don't you play that with me and I'll count us in. We're on our A minor chord. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Awesome. So once you get that rhythm down, now what you want to do is put in those chord transitions. So let me go ahead and put that on screen for you guys. And we're going to be transitioning from A minor to G to C for basically the entire song. So let's go ahead and practice that through. So we've got our A minor chord on and we've got down, down, up, down, up. Switch your G chord. Down, down, up, down, up. Then switch your C chord and we're going to play through it twice. Down, down, up, down, up, twice. All right, and that's basically the pattern for the majority of the song. So let's go ahead and try that again with our A minor chord on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, G, down, up, down, up, C, down, up, down, up, twice. Again. Now all you want to do is practice speeding this up because the original song does go about twice as fast as we were just going So we do want to kind of increase our tempo a little bit So let's go ahead and practice that again, and we're gonna speed up to tempo this time. I'll count us in one two three four a minor G
One of the reasons this is such a great song for beginners is because that A minor to G to C chord progression is going to be basically the entire song. So it's going to be really easy for those of you who are just practicing transitioning to just transition between those three chords and not have to worry about, you know, mixing them up in the order and things like that. So um, congratulations. Once you've gotten that far, you are playing it with the strumming pattern and that strumming pattern can be applied for the entire song. Um, one extra thing that you can do if you want to is you can add a little bit of a palm mute. So what I mean by that is I'm taking the side of my hand, this hand with the pick in it, I'm just barely lightly resting it on my strings between the bridge and the sound hole. And if you lay your hand there while you strum, it kind of mutes the strings and just kind of dulls and dampens the sound. And I think that this is really good for the very end of the song where they sing the chorus, but it's like kind of quieter and things like that. So um, let me go ahead and show you what that sounds like with the palm mute. Made it, running down to the riptide, take it away to the dark side. I want to be your And then when you go back to the chorus, you would just start strumming without the palm mute. So if you want to add that in there, I think it's a cool way to kind of dress up the guitar part a little bit, make it sound a little bit different. However, if you don't want to add the palm mute or you're having trouble with palm muting, it's totally okay to just let all of the strings ring for the whole song. Um, it is very on trend with the song. So yeah, with that being said, you can actually play through the entire song now. However, there is one section in the middle where there's a little bit of a solo tab. So let me go ahead and zoom in and show you guys how to play that part. So I've zoomed in a little bit so we can take a closer look at this solo tap. Um, you only hear it once throughout the song, so if you don't feel comfortable with picking or this is not something that you're interested in learning, you could totally play your cover without this in it. But um, for those of you who are interested, I wanted to go ahead and show you how I would suggest playing this. So what you want to do is take your first finger and we're going to bar our first finger across the third fret relative to the capo. Um, across all the strings. Um, if you do find barring chords hard, then that's okay. All you really need to bar are these top two strings, but the reason I'm going to suggest barring across is because it's gonna be easier for your other fingers. So um, after you bar your first finger across the third fret, what I want you to do is take your ring finger and put that on the fifth fret relative to the capo of your G string, okay? <laughs> And then I want you to take your pinky and put that on the fifth fret right underneath your ring finger on the B string. Okay, so we've got our ring finger and our pinky. So this is just the easiest way I found to play this little um, solo line. So what you want to do is start off with your pinky off the guitar. So you've got your first finger barred and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string. Now what you're going to do is pick that B string without your pinky on it. And then while it's ringing, you want to just hammer your pinky on to the um, fifth fret of the B string. All right. So you're only picking once, but you're hammering on. When you practice hammering, it can be a little hard, especially with your pinky finger. That's usually people's um, weakest fingers. So we're just going to pick that B string and hammer our pinky on. All right, so once you do that, pick the B string again with your pinky on. So we've got From there, you're just going to move next door to the high E string and pick that once. And now your top E string is going to be held with your first finger, your bard, okay? So, um, so far we've got this, we've got... All right, good. From here, you just want to go to your G string and pick that, and then go back to your B string and pick that. And that is the whole solo tab. He plays it through four times in the song. So let's go ahead and go through that again. We've got our B string with our hammer on. And then you pick it again. Then your high E string. And then your G string. And then your B string. Good.
good. So you just want to keep practicing that until you can do it a little bit faster. And then for this, I am using a pick. I feel like if you're gonna strum with the pick, then it's easier just to use the pick to also do the solo tab. But you could also just do this with your fingers if you wanted to. So this will take a little bit of practice, especially if you're not used to that kind of barring action. It can take a toll on your finger and your hand muscles. So just give yourself time to practice this. And um, yeah, this is just the fingering that I would suggest to play through this. So again, you want to just slow it down, play it slow four times, and then slowly speed it up when you start getting more used to the hammer-ons and all of that kind of stuff. And then with enough practice, you should be able to play it at tempo. Awesome. But that is the entire um, tab and again you only have to play that four times through in the middle of the song and again if you don't want to you could totally just hold down your C chord during that part and that'll work as well. This is Riptide by Vance Joy. Good luck!
All right, so that was my tutorial for how to play Riptide by Vance Joy. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as to subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on another new tutorial. Here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun things like behind the scenes looks at things coming up. I'll pull you guys on things you wanna see. And I do a monthly guitar lesson giveaway on my Instagram for free. So make sure to follow me on there if you want to enter. This is also where I go to find people to feature in my new segment, Forever Features. This week we have Issa playing Amazing Grace. Let's give it a listen. Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So if you want to be next, make sure to follow me on Instagram and post a short cover of you playing any song you learned from any of the tutorials on my channel. Use that hashtag forever features in the description so I can find it, and the next feature spot could be you. And one last little plug, if you liked the shirt I was wearing in today's tutorial, this is my brand new Guitar Babe design, which you can find along with lots of other designs in my merch store linked down below as well as under this video. Every purchase there really helps my channel to grow and allows me to continue making these free tutorials for you guys. So thank you so much to anyone who's ever supported me in that way. But I think that concludes this video, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! You're gonna